Hey guys, it's Hink here. So for those of you that might live under a rock, you haven't seen this debate, but it's going on about who would win in a fight, 100 men versus a gorilla. And it's taking social media by storm because I don't know why. But it did inspire me to make this video because actually when it comes down to like genital size, the difference between humans and primates and other primates is actually quite remarkable. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what that difference is when it comes to things like penis size, testicular size, and also how we evolved to come to that. So there are some kind of spicy takes on this. Hopefully this is a short video and you guys can enjoy it. So first of all, guys, we got to talk about penis size. In general, humans have the largest penis size by a long shot when it comes to primates. So once again, guys, you've seen all my videos on size and real size statistics, but on average, humans have a penis between five to six inches. But even when it comes to large chimpanzees or gorillas, a chimpanzee's average penis size is about three inches, where a big ass gorilla on average has a penis size of about 1.5 inches. Can you imagine that? A big ass 600 pound gorilla with a tiny little 1.5 inch penis. Kelly is going to put up a chart here where you can see the little arrow is proportionally the size of the penis compared to the rest of the body. If you look at humans, look at how long that arrow is. And then look when it comes to gorilla. They have this big body, but these tiny little, this tiny little arrow representing the actual phallus size. So humans are going to come out on top. My trick to beating a hundred, like one gorilla would be to basically show him my pee pee and proceed to shame him. I'm just kidding, guys. Hey, that's insensitive. That's, you're insulting guys with smaller pee. No, guys, I'm just having a little fun. Okay. T you know, take it, take, take it easy. But the point is humans actually have a pretty ridiculous size penis when it comes to their actually average body mass. Now guys, if you're interested in actually enlarging the size of your penis, I recently published my Hink trial in that I took seven participants, exposed them to my methods, and over time, over six months, they grew a half an inch in length on average and a quarter inch in girth on average. Now the difference between this and other trials is that there's actually photo evidence. So if you're interested in reading my trial and my write-up and my results, I will put the link to the video up here in this corner, but also I'm going to have the trial video link and the actual published trial with photos that you can verify for yourself in the description of this video as well. Now guys, when it comes to testicle size, it's a completely different ball game because we actually have relatively small testicle size for our body habits. For example, chimpanzees have huge testicles when it comes to their body size. Their testicle size is like a third of their brain size and chimpanzees have pretty big brains, guys. And so once again, we're gonna pull up that chart, that same chart now. If you look at the small circles at the bottom of the circle, that actually represents testicle size. So if you look at things like the bonobo, the chimpanzees, they have very large testicles. When it comes to humans, we actually have fairly small testicles, but still when it comes to gorillas, huge body mass, tiny little testicles. I'm not body shaming gorillas, guys. I actually bet that there's, especially in 2025, people are so sensitive about everything. There's probably a kink. I'm an advocate for Gorilla PP Size International and you're canceled. Don't do the voice. This is from an evolutionary standpoint if you actually believe in evolution, okay? Chimpanzees live in this system where they mate multiple males mate with multiple females and so they actually have to have these large testicles because of the requirements for sperm as far as the sperm competition is very high because at any given time several dudes Several do chimpanzees have cream pied several female chimpanzees, and it's like, may the best sperm win. And so that is part of the evolutionary reason for this. Now, similar things with gorillas, guys. Gorillas live where there's basically one male gorilla and multiple female gorillas. And so there's really no competition when it comes to mating. Ergo, they only need small testicles because of the small sperm competition and arguably a smaller pee, -pee because there's no competition when it comes to that. Now... There is a small caveat because here I am sitting there saying like, oh yeah, you know, if you're a human, stand up, you know, put your shoulders up high because you have a big pee-pee. But actually there is one primate. The name is a Hemadryas baboon. Sorry if I butchered that. But this primate actually weighs one third of the human body and it's actually packing five and a half inches. Imagine, you know, somebody a third of our size, somebody with dwarfism, for example, that has the exact same pee, pee size as somebody that is a full-sized adult. That would proportionally look much bigger. We're not the only primates with big peepees. There is this one primate. Now guys, we might win when it comes to size, but our peepees are actually pretty boring when it comes down to it, okay? Callie, put up the picture of all the different unique pee, pee sizes of these different primates, especially the ones that have different selection and different competition. But you can see that some of these things are just like wild. 
Right now, let me know in the comments. These are labeled by letters. Which one, which one would you want and why? Or just put in the comments, Hink, WTF is wrong with you. But these unique peepees are almost, are, are basically exclusively found in these primates where there's a multi-male to multi-female competition going on. Now, take for example, these peepees of the monogamous monkeys. And so you can see when there's monogamous, there's not much, there, there's no need for competition. So you don't have to have a big fancy peepee with all these different horns and decorations, you know, as we saw previously. Our peepees is in humans is, is actually quite unique just because number one, they're far bigger than average, even though we are largely a monogamous species. Why is that? Well, there's actually several different hypotheses or there's speculation we don't know for sure but number one which i've seen floated around a lot is that basically sexual selection so the females are going to have a preference for males with larger peepees okay because that could potentially represent you know increased genetic fitness they may better sexual compatibility better chance at a healthy fertilization successful fertilization Number two is the body proportion. So as humans evolve to basically walk upright, it means that it means that when you're not wearing clothes, the genitals are going to be more visible and more visible genitalia could lead to more selection, as I just mentioned. So also, because we have less sperm competition, but still guys, now this is potentially a super hot take here, but I've always speculated that guys with larger peepees might have higher fertility rates just because the distance the sperm has to travel when it comes to up the vaginal canal to the actual cervix would be dramatically reduced if PP is going right up against cervix and then ejaculation occurs. And so one of the actual hypotheses for why we have bigger peepees is exactly that, that basically a larger penis is going to help with more successful fertilization. One of the other theories is basically that as we as have evolved as a species, it hasn't necessarily been the biggest or the strongest that the women are going to want to select for mating, especially with our, with our social situation where there's things like basically money, power, and status. Just think about the most powerful people on the planet. It's typically the men that are rich or very successful or famous that are typically the more polygamous, if you will. And even in some cultures, it's only those most rich and most powerful men that have the ability to have multiple wives. To better understand the sex addiction outbreak, we've been running tests on chimpanzees. You can see that this entire community of specimens are getting along normally, some pairing off, others on their own. But now see this chimp here, an average normal adult male, blending in seamlessly with the others. Now watch, we're going to give it a lot of money. Go ahead. So because of those traits being more important, money, power, status, the need to have a larger penis has been reduced dramatically from an evolutionary perspective. And so we've kind of geared away from that. In a nutshell, yes, humans have proportionally a much bigger penis than any of the other primates in the animal kingdom with the exception of that one primate. But we also have fairly small testicles proportionally, which we discussed why. But number three, we have pretty unique penises when it comes to the size and actually how, you know, quote unquote boring they look. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think. Was this at all fascinating to you? I'm sure this video is going to bomb, but I actually learned a lot making this video. So I really appreciate your feedback. Um, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'm already at 50K. But if not, please subscribe to the channel. Help your boy out and every subscription helps. I want to know what you guys think in this video. Now remember guys, if you want to actually increase the size of your penis, I have a full course where I break it down how exactly to do that through science. And not only do I have this course, but I now have the receipts to prove that it is in fact possible and my methods work. So once again, check out the links in the description, see it for yourself. And if you're interested, then consider buying my course. And guys, I've said it before, what's more important than size is actually erection quality. My supplements like Fortitude and Vigor can help dramatically with that. And they're a reason why they're best sellers. And if you need to reach me for coaching or consultation, patreon.com slash docking. Guys, that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love. Dr. Hank got the plug on the health, yeah. Got you thinking about your wealth, yeah. In his office, no stealth, yeah. Pinnacle of that below the belt, yeah. Checks and balance, he's managing. Working miracles, no damage. Got you covered, no panic. Can't stay calm. In the clinic, no vanishing. Yeah, with Doc King, it's the way back.